but I'll make you uh, a promise uh, tonight for next year. At the next State of the County address, I will walk out here. Thank you all <laughs> very much. Uh, sort of a corny intro, but it was fun. <laughs> we have retained our AAA bond rating for 21 straight years. That means Oakland County's credit rating is better than 186 countries in the world, including our own United States. As we move forward in the current calendar year, Oakland County finds itself in a unique position in the entire United States of America. Oakland County is the only government in America that filed a balanced three-year budget. It's a long-range view of the horizon, which gives us plenty of time to make corrections before some distant problem becomes insurmountable. It's thoughtful management versus crisis management. Back in 2003, I did one of the smarter things that I have done during my tenure as Oakland County Executive, and I will concede that, that list is short. Um, but back in 2003, I formed an in-house budget task force to help me deal with the complex financial issues that are intertwined with politics and policy and projections. And of course, as with all things successful, there's a tendency sometimes to go too far. Two years ago, these bastards took my car away. <laughs> Oakland County's Emerging Sectors Program surpassed $5 billion this past November. And that's $5 billion of new investment just within the emerging sectors portion of our economy since 2004. That number does not include traditional investment. In that category, we increased our investment by another 3.5 billion. I'm sure you're impressed with the number, given the fact that it was built during the Great Recession, but yet we were able to manage a $5 billion growth. A billion is a lot of money. Five billion is five times more. <laughs> I was always good with numbers in high school. Oakland County has fostered growth within traditional businesses, too. Since 2004, we have seen 345 traditional business successes, investing more than $3.24 billion, creating over 18,000 jobs and retaining 21,000 jobs. Combined, those two sectors, that's over eight and a third billion dollars, creating or retaining 129,000 jobs since 2004. That's not too shabby. I founded Automation Alley as a regional manufacturing and technology business association in 1999. Today, it has about 1,000 members throughout Southeast Michigan. More than 1,020 international firms from 38 countries around the world have business locations in Oakland County, including 57% of the global Fortune 500. Oakland County, along with Southeast Michigan, forms a hub of innovation in medical research and development education and commercialization. Government Technology Magazine and the Center for Digital Government declared that Oakland County has the best county government website in the United States. The Center for Digital Government also declared once again that we are among the most digitally advanced counties in the nation. Our IT department also operates Clemens, which uses innovative computer technology for criminal justice and public safety applications. It promotes sharing of information among the consortium of local, state, and federal agencies. At more than 200 agencies spanning a number of Southeast Michigan counties, it's the largest crime dating shared network in the United States. Uh, people in government sharing their technology, sharing their resources, and uh, people, you know, I've heard critics of, of us in government say, you guys are never involved in anything regional. What we just went through and what you just witnessed was regionalism at its finest, and I'm proud of it. Oakland County is indeed a regional player that wants to have a role in improving the quality of life for all the citizens in Southeast Michigan. I've told you my philosophy on regionalism before. Perhaps it bears restating again tonight. If there's a program put forth that is good for the city of Detroit and Wayne County and good for Oakland County, hey, I'm in. I'll be a supporter. 
If there's a program that is put forth that is good for Detroit and Wayne County, but neutral to the interests of Oakland County, I'm in. I've got no reason to oppose it. I'll be there as a supporter. However, if there's a program that is good for the city of Detroit and Wayne County, but injurious to the interests of Oakland County, I will oppose it. After all, my duty is to represent you in Oakland County. One of my successful quality of life initiatives is Count Your Steps, a program to fight childhood obesity. From the inception in 2004, listen to this, more than 200,000 kids walk more than 18 billion steps. That's 341 times around the earth. Rainbow Connection is a charity that I had a hand in starting way back in 1980 after my best friend and his two kids were killed in a plane crash. And what we do with the money we raise now, we grant wishes and we're trying to give some kid who's facing a terminal illness at least one happy moment with his family and that's granting them a wish. I was noticing that races are being very popular. So I said, okay, we're gonna do one here in Oakland County. And I announced that intention in my, my state of the county address. And my son Brooks, he came up to me and he said, Dad, I think I'll run in it. And then of course, he was killed three days later and the committee named the race after him in memory of him. And so it's called the Brooksy Way. And that comes from a eulogy that his brother-in-law gave at the service. If you go skiing, go for the deep powder, that's the Brooksy way. Every Friday since, I think, since I first took office, uh, I let my staff dress casual. They put a dollar in what we call the jean jar. Well, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot. But at the end of the year, we normally have between thirty-three dollars and $35,000 saved up from the various departments and employees that participate. And then we, we have a list of charities, uh, 10 to 12, that we then dole out those proceeds in the name of the county employees to charities across this county that help improve, I think, the, the health and well-being of our, our community and, and work with disadvantaged kids, they work with seniors. The, the charities are, uh, you know, just a cross-section of the good work that's done here by the private sector. And this is not my uh, first rodeo. I was prosecuting attorney for 16 years, but after day one, I fell in love with it. I mean, I enjoyed public service so much. It's very rewarding, it's very satisfying. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I, I, I'm one of those lucky guys who doesn't work for a living. He loves what he does for a living, so it's never considered work. Uh, I consider working in Wilkin County a privilege. Uh, I think public service is a privilege. And like me, they, they find this to be a calling. They find this to be really an attractive career. We have the best uh, government workforce here in the state, and I'm very proud of all of you.